today on the Miata, we have something I'm pretty excited for. We have more steering angle in the form of some yeah. drift knuckles. Hey. Let's figure it out. Yeah. You my organic kombucha, baby. Damn. You my quartz hoard, I stitch my soul suture, baby. Aye. Call my suture, kind of suture, super used to crazy. Aye. Like the patchouli, watch a movie, something super 80s. Damn. But when the in parlor, I've been all up on your mind. So I got these from a dude on Instagram. I will plug his Instagram somewhere around here. Uh, he owns a sort of little, like, DIY shop. Uh, and he makes knuckles for a lot of BMWs, Miatas, uh, a lot of lower control arms, stuff like that. Uh, he allows you to get them custom painted any color. I picked maroon, and he also put these really cool black uh, specks on them, which I think look awesome. I think it'll look awesome on the car, and hopefully they're gonna perform awesome too. Forget your ticket, let's just go into space. Elon Musk, the way you rock and all the things that you say. And you USB to LSD and take a user interface. You use to move the shoes you laced and take a trip right down the road, Zor. So robotic, girl, you're thinking in code. Systematic, it's methodic, way your colors and codes. You're automatic, but you're different than the one right before. I swear you're into exploring. Remember, like you're recording, it's something different where your hips are swinging. Got me singing like I'm wishing I could see your pistons. So convincing, girl, you're scheming like a politician. No opposition, am I forgetting that it's in your system? I've been feeling so lost, baby. Do you have a manual? Options for the click and trying to switch up your intangibles. Why you trying to stall? Take too long and I'ma let you go. We might have forever, baby. Tell it to a metronome. Oh. All right, so we got the wheel off. It looks like this is gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna have to get the top control arm, or upper control arm bolt off from the bottom. Uh, a couple of them back there, they're kinda hard to see. A couple bolts that back there that hold the knuckle to uh, the hub. And I don't know, it should be pretty easy. We'll, uh, we'll see how bad it is. All right, so we're gonna start with the lower control arm. That is a 17. Right. Got that out. Uh, I'm trying to get the lower ball joint out, but the coilover's in the way. So we're gonna have to pop open the hood and unbolt the bolts that are underneath that. And I have a 14 with an extension here to get that off. I just gotta move my hot air intake out of the way. There we go. Alright, and then we'll move this out of the way. Perfect. So the top of the coilover is free. The bottom bolt for the coilover is stuck, so I got a trusty uh, sledgehammer and a little extension. I'm just gonna beat the bolt out and hope for the best. There we go. Got it. Alright, got it out. Thing. All right, and I think that's at 17 again, so... Right. And now I'm gonna get out the lower ball joint as well. Here for now. Let me go get like a crate or a box or oh, actually uh, that'll do for now. In the back, rotor off. I probably should have gotten new hubs, honestly, but I didn't really think about it. So we got our pickle fork. That's just gonna wedge in between the uh, bar and the ball joint. That was scary. <laughs> All right, got that out. Perfect. All right, 
Got the tie rod out. So, to get the lower control arm to go down just a little bit lower, uh, we're gonna get the uh, sway bar off. They're all completely destroyed, yeah. Ow. Oh, that's how you lose the end of a finger. So I couldn't get the knuckle off of the ball joint, so the next best thing is to just take it all out, because I don't need either of these things, so. It's just this cover right here that needs to be taken off, and then it reveals a bolt in which takes that whole assembly. Now I have no idea why this damn thing was on there so tight, but I got it off by notching it open and just prying at it and just hammering it. I was kind of mad, so there it is, I guess. Stupid thing. This little uh, notch right there in the hub needs to be taken out. That way you can get the nut off. We've got that bent out enough to take the nut off, so. We've got it off. Sick. And this should just come right off. Awesome. And now we just take the dust shield off of that. And we're all set. our stock knuckle with the ball joint that doesn't come off. Woo! So when you have your tie rod in and you have it turning the wheels, this has a lot more distance to travel so your wheel doesn't get to turn as much before it's at full lock. So if you take the aftermarket one, the tie rod goes right in there, pushes that the same amount, but the wheel turns more because this is a shorter pivot point, I guess. Sorry, I'm bad at, I'm bad at uh, explaining that. But you guys get the idea, I'm sure. So just as a quick tip, if you guys are ever working on anything, uh, what I do here is if there are a lot of different bolts that I don't know what will go where, I normally label them so take a piece of paper and just a normal sharpie. Uh, I will write out what the bolt goes to. So this one's the sway bar. Of course the nuts attached as well. Put that there. Uh, lower ball joint. Um, these go to the brake calipers. Uh, this is the tie rod. You get the idea. So it just kind of keeps everything tidy so you don't lose everything. All right, so here we're just going to assemble the ball joint onto the uh, knuckle and it came with a new uh, bolt as well so I'm just going to use that so we got the new ball joint on the drift knuckle so let's start throwing it in there So the knuckle is in, bolted up on the top and the bottom. Then we also have the sway bar put back in, the coilover is put back in. Now we just gotta get the tie rod, throw that in there, bolt it up, and then we'll put the brake back on and then we'll see how much angle we got. All right, so we got the brake on, we got the rotor good. Uh, but we got the dust shield on, it's not rubbing anywhere, got everything tightened up, and it looks like we got a new knuckle. 
So let's test it out and see. This is actually quite impressive how much it was able to pull it out. So that is it. Uh, I really love them. I think they came out awesome. I mean, look at that angle. That's just insane. Holy crap. Like, that's awesome. So I can't wait to uh, just hit up an event, see how they go, or go to Mexico. <laughs> Yo, when the petals fall down like the roses and Geppetto stop the building talking puppets and arpeggios no longer with the girl that I'm in love with, then I guess that I would have to find a time to write with substance. And it's evident that Valentine's with you is something more special than chocolate cake. I just wish that after all this time it wasn't double dates. My dad